Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come it like a cherry. Come it like a cherry. Your oh, boy done switched up on you. Come it like a cherry. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, if this is your very first time in this channel, go over there and subscribe for us. And then after you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you'll be notified each and every time that we upload a video. And then welcome to the Lips family. Now, let me tell you this. Now that you're part of the Lips family, there's something that we need for you to do. If you've watched one of my videos before, you know what that is, right? I need you to comment, comment, Comment like you're sharing, go on, click for the team. Comment like you're sharing, go on, click for the team. Comment like you're sharing, don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share, comment like a share, don't forget to comment like a share. Comment like a share, comment like a share, don't forget to, don't forget to comment like a share. Okay, you guys, we're gonna pray and we're gonna get right into the food. Here we go. Amen. Okay, y'all. Y'all already know the day, day 26 or 30 days of nothing but water on the lips channel. Guess who's here to help us out? Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out. Let's just see refresh. Mm. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, today I have homemade mixed vegetables with the carrots, the potatoes, the corn, green beans. I've got, this is a pork steak. This here is just regular old hamburger help. Just regular old hamburger help. So I've got two habaneros and one serrano today. Back into the back, I've got the lip hot sauce and I've got the pink salt. All right. How y'all doing today? Mm. Y'all doing okay? Y'all, I'm hungry. Mm. 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 So y'all, today I've got pork steak. Mmm. Mmm. I haven't had one in a long time. So, so that, yeah, that never had fat back on that, in them vegetables. The boiling meat. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm not. I'm not going to say it. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I hear the pork steak. It's so big. It's so big. Mmm. Like I said, I uh oh. Like I said, I hadn't had one in a long time. Now for the people who want the hot sauce on it. There you go. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Oh. Mmm. That's really good. For some reason, right here, next to this bone, and one time to lose. That's all right. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all bit my finger. Y'all bit my finger. So look. And just what I want to talk to y'all about. Mm. First thing, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for embracing and accepting hubby. Y'all, he was so nervous. The day he done it, I was asleep. 
And when I got up, he was already done with it. So, when I got up, he didn't immediately come down here and tell me he had done it. Because I record downstairs in our home. So when I woke up, he was upstairs. Y'all come to find out. He done stop. Oh, the bone is right there. That's what it is. I knew I was saying, for some reason, it wouldn't tear right. That's right, fine. Um, come to find out, y'all. While he was doing the video, he done called Sam's World. She done tried to talk him through it. He was so nervous, but he wanted to get it finished for me. That was so sweet. Mmm. Well, of course, y'all know the haters came. The haters had to come through. But everybody need a job, so we're going to let them hate. But what I will tell them is, Mm. I knew who I was. I knew the life that I lived. I know you was going to be there to hate. When I started this. So, the only thing I can tell you is, thank you for the view. Thank you for the view. I appreciate it. Y'all like carrots. To me, and mixed vegetables, carrots is the star. To me. So anyway, what I want to talk to y'all about today is, I read all You know you on the right channel, baby! You know you on the right channel! <laughs> Yo, I let it slid the first time. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so, mm, my husband went down the account first. And I guess he answered all the comments that he felt like were for him. Like it was questions that you guys were asking. And stuff like that. And then I went behind him and cleared up the rest. We appreciate you guys so, so, so much. Mm. So, let me get on what I want to talk to y'all about. Now, I got it out. Thank you guys so, so, so much for embracing my husband. Um, For his first debut video. Come on in here, Big Ben. Mmm. Oh, it's right on hot. So, what I want to talk to y'all about today, and me reading the comments, a lot of them, you guys, you all are so heartfelt. I love my legion so much. You guys are such great people. There that bone go right there, y'all. And that wouldn't let. Y'all see that good, them good juices down there? Mmm. So, The comments off of my husband's video is what gave me our topic for the day. So our topic for the day, you guys, is you are efficient and sufficient enough. You are efficient and sufficient enough. Yes, you are. You most certainly are. If y'all had old school hamburger helper, the cheesy hamburger helper, baby. So, you guys, with some kind of relationship, men, husband, women, wives, any of those such things, you are your own person. And you are efficient and sufficient enough to only accept what it is that you want. I mean, 
Mmm. A lot of times I find that people, you know, they're in relationships that, they're that bone you. Mm. Either they don't want to be in, or they feel like they're not treated right in the relationship. Well, if that's okay, why are you in it? Mm. No meat. Why are you in the relationship? Is it because you feel like that you can't get anybody else? Or nobody love you like that person? Well, let me tell you something. If you're not happy, that costs more than fat back. If you're not happy, or you're not being treated right, do they really love you anyway? But if the person that loves you, they're going to do what it takes to make you happy. They don't want to see you insecure. They don't want to see you in heartache. They don't want to see you hurting. They don't. I mean, my relationship and my marriage is just like everybody else's. You have some ups and downs. You have some fussing. You have some fighting. As long as things aren't physical, in the confines of your home, when you're married, you're going to get into arguments. That's going to happen. But you both are supposed to have each other's best interests at heart. You're supposed to. When you get through the argument, it may last a little while. Sometimes days. Sometimes. Sometimes some things are harder for you to let go of. But what I'm going to let y'all know here. Baby, let me tell you something. When I got to the age or when I got to the point to where I knew I wanted to be, you know, settle down, I was ready to, um, you know, have a family. I started setting stuff up for that. I started putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. Because first and foremost, finances can get a relationship before anything. So, and it can. I start putting together a piece of the puzzle. And guess what? When, I'm going to say, take applications. It's really when I started dating or, you know, seriously. You know, to find someone to be with. Mm, you know, my favorite person. I only accept the application for the ones that I wanted. I didn't go out there and accept anything. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir. Sorry, there's going to be some qualities that you're going to need. That you're going to need. In order for me to be happy. So that's what I look for. That's what I look for. It is. Now, is everything always good? Nope. Not all the time. You gotta have some. You have to have some struggles to be able to appreciate the good times. You do. But for the most part, if you can, most of the time, stand and look at a person every day, whether you mad or not, you still find yourself calling to their job to make sure they made it. And those are the wonderful things about a relationship that's always good. It is. But that's no, neither here nor there. What I want you to know is you are efficient and sufficient to decide who you want to be with in your life. You are efficient and sufficient enough to not accept just anything. Why? Would you go and get a man or woman that you can't trust? For what? If you can't trust a person, how you gonna be with them? Hmm. There's some bristling in that. How you gonna be with them if you can't trust them? 
You gotta be able to trust the person. Mmm, it's really so good. Mmm, you got to be. I mean, that you can't trust the person. You ain't got to tell nothing no way. Why you doing spinning your wheel? Because if you can't trust a person, you will ruin their lives. You will. When a person feels like they got to call you, check in, because you don't trust them, they can't go by their mama house and they got work. And just not have the relationship. I didn't live to be grown to so have to answer to yet another person. I'm going to answer to God. Is who I'm answer to. I'm answer to God. Because I'm not going to break the law. So therefore, mm, we're going to discuss things and we're going to decide, make decisions that best on what's best for us as a, as a group. Let me show you all them. This is the star for me. See it? The carrot? This is the star for me. For mixed vegetables, I ate them all out of there too. We're gonna discuss things, yes. We're gonna make decisions on what's best for us together, yes. But to ask your permission to do something, no. That ain't how that goes. But I said it the same. You guys, if you're trapped in relationships that you don't believe in or you're not happy, get out. Get out. It doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what color you are. If you're trapped in a relationship that is not healthy, or you're not happy, leave. I know that's not always easy. I mean, I know a lot of times in a lot of different situations, that's easier said than done. Sometimes there's children involved. Sometimes your finances are mingled together. And there's a whole lot of things. Oh, excuse me. That can take place. That can cause you not to be able to just up and leave today. But I understand it's the best thing in the world to have, y'all. That's the best thing in the world to have. And I just wouldn't be with somebody that did, didn't make me happy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But you are efficient. And sufficient enough to be with someone who does. That makes you happy. You're a forever person. Mm. 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 They're so thick. They're good, though. So look, y'all. I don't think, I know that God didn't put us here to be unhappy. Yes, he said we were going to go through some things. He said we were going to have some trials and tribulations. But, and I'm not only speaking about relationships like between a couple. I'm saying even your friends. When you take applications for your friends, I don't take applications for the people that, the type of person that you want to be your friend. I mean, yeah, sometimes mm, you get lucky. You do. Sometimes you run into the best friends in the world. I mean, you just living your life. But if you're actively looking for friends or whatever, relationships, whatever's going on, you are efficient and sufficient enough to only accept what it is that works for you. And you are. So many of you come in to me about how sweet it was of my husband and what he done. And I wish my man did this. And I wish my man did this. And I wish my man cared about this. And I cared about... Well, listen, baby. Listen. If he doesn't, and you recognize him, and you can see that he doesn't, why are you still there? Why are you still there? 
I just, I would be there. If a man or a woman didn't care enough about me to do sweet things for me that made me happy or to be kind to me, show me that they love me, I wouldn't be there. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. <coughs> it ain't that much love in the world, y'all. It ain't that much love in the world to make me stay somewhere where I'm unhappy and I'm being mistreated. Mm -mm. It ain't that much love in the world. I don't love nobody. Sort of God. Mm. Now, children's and husbands is something totally different. Because I would literally give my life for my husband or my child. I would. But if my husband went right, now if he didn't treat me right, like I wanted to be treated, I could not. Mm -mm. Nope. I wouldn't. That's why you have to have shot for good God fearing people or men or friends. You know? And just know. I may have rambled on a little bit. And I may even give you all the goods that you needed for you to understand exactly what I'm saying. But the point of it all is you are sufficient and efficient enough, you are, to surround yourself with people, whether it be a relationship or friends, mm, that care enough about you. You. Don't sacrifice yourself. To make other people happy. Don't do that. Do not sacrifice yourself to make other people happy. Because if you're not happy, how can you make anybody else happy? I don't understand if that's possible. Is it possible to make others happy when you're not happy yourself? I don't know. I'm going to talk to Big Ben for a minute and I'm going to figure it out. Mm. Yeah, this pork steak was good. Mm. Well, I hadn't had one in a long time. So, when I was in the grocery store last week, I saw some, and I got me two big old packs of them. Mm. And cooked them up today for you. Just coming to let you know that you are efficient and sufficient enough to be in control of your surroundings and the people that are around you. Love God. Love yourself. Your children. You know, husbands and mates are very, very important to life. I mean that they are, but it needs to be with someone who cares enough about you to make you be happy. Anyway, I hope y'all got the message. I hope you did. I really, really did. I hope you guys got the message. I hope you understand. Even if I didn't deliver it correctly, I hope that you truly understand by the words that you are important. You are. You're important. You're very important. And with that being said, you got to do what makes you happy. And you need to surround yourself with people that are going to make you happy, including your mate. So, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you got the message. Because for some reason, I feel like I didn't deliver it right today. I don't know. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I wish I did know, though. But I hope you got it anyway. It came from the heart. Like I said, there were so many of you guys that left so many messages along these lines. But I wanted to make sure that I let you know that you are efficient and sufficient enough on your own 
without anything. Because God made you perfect and divine just like you are. You don't have to change for people. You don't have to allow people to run over you or not treat you good. You should be treated good. Now we're going to get out of here, y'all. We're going to go. Guess what? Big Ben says good night. You guys continue to drink your water. We're almost through with this thing. We got four more days because today is day 26. I'm going to see you guys next time. Come on, Big Ben. Mm. Oh, that's good. So, let's get out of here, y'all. Let's get out of here. Comment, like, to share, and go. Take for the team. Comment, like, to share, and go. Take for the team. Comment, like, to share, and don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. Don't forget to. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Okay. In closing. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look, remember, there's always more than one way home. All you just have to do is get there. So get there, people, get there. I love you all, and I'm going to see you guys next time. If you're not here to watch me next time, you already know what it is. You have lied to me, and I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye. I love you guys so, so, so much. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. And the next day. And the next day, I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mwah.